So you guarantee goals with Erling Haaland, and what Gabby O'Gonohor said there is more correct than I think he realises. In this window, it might seem unlikely, but in this window, mm. if one of the title contenders in the Premier League signs Erling Haaland, then I think they are guaranteed winning the title. Remember how tight it is up there? If Man United slot him in as their number nine, if Liverpool replace Firmino with Haaland, if Man City get themselves a goal scorer, maybe one of the others, who knows? One of those we're not even thinking will win the title. Maybe if they get that goal scorer, he can actually fire those goals to bring the title to that club. So it makes me wonder why they're not you know, making a, an offer to Dortmund that cannot be turned down, Dan. Depends what they think the uh, Premier League title's worth to them. Um, when you look at, uh, I agree totally with you, I think we touched on this a couple of weeks ago, me and you, Aid, where we talked about it's so open, the Premier League title, there's so many teams in with a shout. You include Manchester United, Manchester City uh, and Liverpool are the three that are gunning at this moment in time. But you've got Tottenham uh, just outside there. You've got Chelsea. I know they've gone on a bit of a bad run. Somebody goes out and just presses that G. They're not pressing G because they've got the money. All these clubs, have, they have got money aid. It's there. They've got very wealthy owners. They could go and get the player that wins them the title this season. It's not like last year when one team were 10 points in front. This is so tight. So, so tight with all these teams in, in and thereabouts. And the Haaland is one of the players that could go into any side and make an impact straight away. Just look at his scoring record. In all competitions, this is not a guy who just scores in the Bundesliga, he scores in the Champions League as well. For someone so young, he's a complete player. He's quick, he's powerful, his vision, he's good in the air. <laughs> I mean, what more do you want from such a young kid? He's a fantastic player. I agree with some of the analysis we just heard from uh, previous talk sports shows, though. I think there's there's more to come, which is why I think that when when he's thinking about, you know, he might want to stay at Dortmund the rest of his career, you never know. I think Dortmund, as they do, will be yeah. looking to cash in at some point, yeah. And if they get an offer they can't turn down, we know Dortmund will sell. They set a price on Sancho, Man United didn't meet it. But had Man United met that price, they would have signed the player. Same with Erling Haaland, there will be a price that he will go for because Dortmund are that club, that's their history, that's their reality. So I'm thinking about... Who is likely to? Who needs him most? I look at Man City, Sergio Aguero, absolute icon, legend of the football club, but not what he was. I think we'd all agree with that. Gabriel Jesus has done decent for them. I think he's pretty good. Do they need another one? Absolutely. So it, for me, that's a no-brainer, and his game improves even more under Pep Guardiola. The only issue you've got there, Darren, is that Man City notoriously don't actually spend massive transfer fees. They spend a lot of money on a lot of different players, but they don't really go to the levels you're talking about for which you get Haaland. No, but I think if he really thought that player would make him a complete team, I think he would. Um, but they do a lot of research. Uh, they don't want to be seen as a club who would just go out and spend over the odds to get players. But we're talking about one player here who makes a big difference. He's going to be the most sought-after player. This is a player that every single club around Europe would want if they could afford him. And I mean every single team, Real Madrid, Barcelona, all the big guns in the Premier League. He makes every team um, better. Now, you put him in that Liverpool team between now and the end of the season. We talked about it last week, eh, didn't we, about Liverpool. Not us, I mean, Jimmy Carragher was the one, Liverpool legend, talking about um, he can't see him winning the title without getting a new centre-half. Well, if they get a goal-scoring centre-forward as well, alongside Marnie and Salah, he makes it... How big a difference would that make? Um, so they go and say, do you know something? We're not waiting till the summer. We're going to get Ireland now. He might cost us an extra 15, 20 million, but we're going to get, the, we're going to get a player we believe Klopp can improve, make even better, and we're already getting quality as he is. So he, he would definitely, definitely, if he went and signed for Liverpool now, they would be 100% the favourites to win the league. Man United, exactly the same. He comes into that team as their front man, their centre forward. It's the one area we still question. Who's their best centre forward? Is it Cavani? Um, is it Martial? Are we better off playing Rashford through the middle? Greenwood, when does he get his opportunity? But Alan comes in, he plays straight away. Yeah, he is the undisputed number nine in that team. You're right. One question, though. Having just signed Cavani, and relatively speaking, and he'll be on decent money, I would think, to have, to have gone to United on a free... Do you think the Man United will then go and spend a fortune on yet another striker? 
Well, it depends. I can't the, see it. Well, it depends how they look at it. Uh, Aid if it's uh, in the next window. If people are going to wait until then, the summer window, they can easily get rid of four, five, six players at Manchester United, can't they? They could easily. If Martial's not going to play, if he wasn't, if he was the player we're talking about, and he wasn't going to play Manchester United team, you're telling me they won't get a few quid for him, and there won't be plenty of clubs who would have a dip at at, at Martial. It, I think it, I agree with you, but he I think won't be one look, of them who stays there just for the sake of it. No, no, I, I, I can see what you're saying, absolutely. However, there's other areas of the Man United team that need addressing as well as we know in midfield and at centre half. I would say some would look at the fullbacks uh, as well, possibly. So I think that having signed Cavani, I cannot see. I may be wrong, but I cannot see Manchester United going to sign a very expensive striker, no matter how good he is. Another question I'd ask with Liverpool as well. You and I know, having done this show over the last few years, how much Liverpool fans absolutely rave about Firmino. It don't matter. He could go three seasons without scoring a goal. He'll still be the the best in that position. They love him there. And I wonder, would they would they swap? If they had the opportunity, this might seem like a no-brainer to you and me, but Liverpool fans love Firmino, don't they, right? Yeah, so, of course they do. So, would they swap? Would they be comfortable swapping Firmino for Haaland? I'd be very surprised if, if they weren't. The, the, the worry for them at the end of this season is the Salah and Mane situation. Um, and Klopp to a certain extent, you know. Um, I mean, he's a fantastic manager. What he's done for Liverpool is given belief and hope. He's close to the fans. It's some fantastic football. They won the Champions League, won the Premier League. And I, I don't know. I mean, what, what, what does Klopp want? Is he quite happy? Does he want to stay in the Premier League? Or has he got other ambitions? It will always be with professional sportsmen, uh, when, no matter what you are, the physio, the coach, the manager, uh, the players. You will all have personal milestones and, and, do you know what I mean? and things you want to achieve in your career. And Klopp won't want to be managing probably when he's 65. He'll, he'll want to achieve all them things as, and enjoy his later life. You know, I can't see him being one of them managers who's going to go on and on and on and on like some of them do, and they just don't want to go away from the game. But... It all depends what he wants. And I think a couple of players at Liverpool might be in exactly in the same boat where they've won just about, they've won it all. They've been fantastic. They might want to leave and do win in another league. You know what I mean? Win the yeah. league. It could be time to, to regenerate. You're right. And on Chelsea, when you first mentioned Chelsea there as, as potential title contenders, if they get it back together soon, I thought to myself, well, can you imagine Frank Lampard going to uh, Roman Abramovich saying, can I have £150 million for another striker, please? Because it's not like he's short of strikers at, at Chelsea. However, if you think it, about it a bit more deeply, what if he said, right, I'll trade Werner and Havertz. I'll give them two to Borussia Dortmund. We'll have Haaland in return. Well, I'd snatch you now, off. Well, they, now you're talking a possibility, aren't you? Well, Chelsea I, fans, I it, you tell us. I mean, Chelsea fans, they would say yes. I'm telling you that now. Because Giroud, I can't see Giroud staying there. Can you, Aid? I, I don't know. I He'll want to play, won't he? So he's no, going to want to play that. now. And it looks like Abraham's his uh, favoured striker. Werner, the situation around him, I, I do actually think he's a decent player. Um, I think it's purely a confidence thing. And not quite knowing his best position in that team. I, I think that's a massive part of it. But if he had, if Frank had the opportunity to have Haaland and Declan Rice, they're the two players. I reckon he would love to have Declan Rice and Haaland. Those two. That changes that team totally. Well, I look at uh, Erling Haaland. Two more goals of the weekend. Really good goals. Good performance from Dortmund winning at Leipzig. Who had the chance to go top after uh, Bayern Munich threw away a two-goal lead and lost to Gladbach. Um, fascinating the Bundesliga this season. But Erling Haaland is, if you were ever in any doubt, he is the real deal. And I do believe, as was said earlier by somebody on this show, there's more to come from him as well. So, you sign him, you win the title. For me, it's that simple. But who is going to sign him? 